my incredible husband, Prince Harry, the Duke of Sussex. Meghan and Harry shared a kiss on stage during the opening ceremony of the Games, a sporting event for wounded warriors. Meghan giggled from the audience as Harry talked about what their son Archie wants to be when he grows up. Some days it's an astronaut, other days it's a pilot. A helicopter pilot. While Archie and Lilibet were home in California, little ones were definitely a theme. Harry and Meghan took a spin in tiny Land Rovers with kid drivers, and Harry even fielded questions from pint-sized reporters. What is your wish for Archie and Lilibet? To grow up in a better world, to grow up in a fairer world, a safer world. One of the reporters, Jay Romsarov, told us about his big moment. It's amazing to meet uh, his royal uh, kindness. Very exciting. Back in the UK, William and Kate led this year's Easter service in the Queen's absence. Prince George and Princess Charlotte attended for the first time, matching with their parents in shades of blue. Her faith, her religion is very, very important to her. NBC royal commentator Daisy McAndrew tells today it's significant that the Queen, who turns 96 this week, skipped the Sunday service, but explained why. Sources have been saying this weekend that from now on, we shouldn't expect to see the Queen. From now on, we're told she will not be expected at most big events unless she feels up to it. That will have been a decision not taken lightly. But we're told that she is increasingly frail. You can see it with, with your own eyes. She's lost considerable amount of weight. She doesn't want to be seen in a wheelchair.